For maximum access to RTK corrections at the lowest cost of ownership, the RTK Bridge only makes sense. Intuacom provides a complete line of RTK Bridge solutions to fit your application needs. Well, on this RTK tower, we had a high antenna reflective value. And uh, when we actually checked this one, we still had the same problem we did the other day. So we brought another antenna up to the top, plugged that in, that did not take care of the problem. So uh, we had another cable with us to go from the radio to the antenna. And when we tested that, that was actually the problem. So we, we got to keep the antenna up there that was up there, swapped out the, uh, the uh, coax cable, taped everything back up, secured it back up, water, water poofed it or whatever. Now we're on to the races to the next stop. We've been putting flag poles on top. Uh, what that what that does is that gives us a little bit more reach with our RTKs. Or really, I shouldn't say reach. It really what it does is it solidifies the coverage that they're capable of. You know, it's kind of that, that green lake was 110 foot tall. We just hoisted another 25 to 30 feet in the air, so now we're at 140 foot. So. Obviously the curvature of the earth changes, so line of sight is, is very important. Here's another guy, Derek Stop at. So you know if you if you view a hundred at a hundred feet in the air, 110 feet in the air, if we would have had the antenna right there and we would have looked out, we can see X amount. If we go another 30 foot in the air, we can see even more. And since RTK is line of sight, um, that's really important for getting up in the air and verifying that we can get our 12 miles out of it. Right now we've got a globe sitting on top of the pickup as we're driving or the 2630 plugged in and we're just testing the range to verify that it's actually working and it seems to be doing really good so I'm pretty pleased with that. We found that those drones are pretty valuable tools to, to do jobs like that. You know, I, I'm probably not in as good a shape as I should be but uh, the drone allows us to go up there and take a look at what's going on, what tools do we actually need to have in order to it and bring the correct tools up there in one shot it alleviates manpower or extra time to do that and, you know that drone flight took what three to five minutes is about all you couldn't find somebody to climb that leg in three to five minutes and climb back down it's just it's not possible so it's you know and it's a safety thing too if if, if you have everything up there and it's all in a bucket uh, you know tied off it, it just works so much better that